Good morning. Have you noticed the cost of a cup of coffee going up? Because bad weather in Brazil and Vietnam is driving up the cost of these beans. And that is even percolating down to your instant at home. We have all the details. Cup of coffee, it might be costing you more soon. And Nina is going to explain why. Morning, Nina. Yes, good morning to you. I felt so nostalgic listening to Ricky's report there. Where would we be without CBeebies these days? Where would we be without Bite Size during lockdown? Just amazing. Anyway, on to coffee this morning. Put yours down, John and Sally. Have a listen, because yours might be about to get a little bit more expensive. So we're at Coffee Central in Nottingham, and these beans are from all around the world. So these from Brazil, these from Colombia, these from El Salvador. And it's interesting, actually, when you take the beans in the purest form, like that. They don't smell like coffee. They smell more grassy, don't they, Dean? They smell sort of mossy. And then the roasting process happens. And that's how they turn into the coffee that we know, Dean, that did keep coffee cheap, has really gone up. Let me talk you through why. So bad weather in Southeast Asia. It's Tastes got... of cherries and fruit. Yeah, it's very boozy, quite chocolatey. Boozy? Yeah, this is a, a Colombian anaerobic natural. Go on, pour me some. Yeah, OK. Um, so a really nice kind of soft acidity there and some chocolate notes as well. It's very sweet, smooth, sweet. There's no bitterness there at all. It's delicious, but I'm going to have to put a pause on the coffee because, John and Sally, I've already had three this morning, so I'm getting a little bit jittery. Uh, but going back to the economic principles around it, yes, the basic cost of coffee is going to go up, so if you're buying that instant at home, but this is a thriving market at the upper end. People willing to pay £4, £4.50 for a coffee when they go out and about. So places like this are in a position... Good morning. If you've noticed the cost of a cup of coffee going up, well, I'm afraid it hasn't ended yet. We're talking about how droughts in Vietnam are driving up the... Yes, good morning. Put those coffees down, John and Sally, because um, I want to tell you a story about why coffee's becoming more expensive. We're at Coffee Central in Nottingham. Come and have a look at these. So these are Singer in Central Africa, uh, some from Guatemala, Colombia, El Salvador, uh, Rwanda. You'll notice, maybe, that all of those countries are equatorial, so they're around the equator because that's where the best conditions are for growth, the most consistent conditions, apart from when they're not, and that's what we've been having in Brazil and in Vietnam. So these here are your robusta beans. So these are like your common garden beans, if you like. They go in lots of blends and, by and large, make up that cheap instant coffee that people have in their household. When Vietnamese coffee beans go up, it has an inflationary pressure on all coffee. Let's take a look at that then. So, they are as expensive as they have ever been since droughts happened in Southeast Asia. So, the benchmark for beans in Vietnam hit an all-time high of around £3,300 a tonne last week. And we are hooked on coffee, so we feel every movement in the market. We drink about 98 million cups of coffee every single day, most of them drunk by John Kay. And, and if you're lucky enough to have that disposable income to hit the high street every day and buy a coffee, you'll notice, for example, that the price of an average latte in a high street chain has gone up to about £3.50, a 15% increase on, on the year before. And it's not just those big high street stores feeling it. 80% of us do have instant coffee at home. So when these beans go up, we all feel that pinch. Come and meet Gavin, who's head of operations here. Morning, Gavin. Hey, We're just you. talking to the audience. Um, and I want to introduce you to Danny, who keeps an eye on the markets across the world, what investors are doing when it's big supply and demand pressure in Salford, where you are right now. And Sally, as you know, <laughs> it's the fact that John Kay monopolises all the coffee Correct. in the building Correct. every day. Yeah. Six cups, I think, daily. Nina, thank you. At least. At least. Possibly seven. Nina, thank you.